While we're on the theme, let's play Rhino Feeder, also for the fun machine. Although you'll notice that their graphics have been really redrawn. This is for the Fun Machine 3. Much better than the Fun Machine 1, which was pretty much an Atari clone, and the Fun Machine 2, which never existed. The point of this game is to run across the screen, grab boxes of the food, bring them to the Rhino, and feed him so he doesn't get mad. Now, if you hit a snake, you bounce right off. Hitting a snake while carrying food causes you to drop it. You want to make sure that the rhino never runs out of food. If the rhino goes hungry, you'll know about it. So these graphics are pretty good for the age. Better than the Super NES, no, better than the regular NES, not quite as good as the Super NES. It's better than, well, it's not better than most systems of the age. It beats the NES by a bit, but beyond that, the only thing it really competes against is Atari. Well, then again, this was created to compete with Atari. Much like the Genesis was created to compete with the Super Nintendo, according to the brilliant irate gamer, am I right? No? <laughs> uh, but seriously though, this was created to compete with the Atari. Now, I'm one of the few people to actually purchase a Fun Machine 3. Fun Machine 2 doesn't exist outside of emulation, which I don't condone and have never done at all, ever, for real. Yeah, sure, why not? But there were very few games released. However, these games were the best of the best. Their graphics rivaled the Xbox 360, and they were generally considered to be the best games ever released. However, the lack of a controller port was its downfall. Oh, I guess I've never really addressed much of what's going on in this game, right? Um, once again, you're playing a Strong Bad game. Strong Bad was totally not released in 2000-ish on the website Homestar Runner, and was most certainly not based off of a satirical children's book written by Chew Brothers from Georgia. Well, actually, it wasn't two brothers from Georgia, it was a guy named Craig Zobel, and one brother from Georgia. Yep, it certainly wasn't that, at all. Alright, so this game progressively becomes more difficult, because you're slowly getting more and more bored as you play it, because of the very, very repetitive gameplay. But honestly, this game plays rather well for the time. I mean, it beat out games like Mario, where all I have to do is go from left to right and jump and save the princess and swim and throw fireballs and collect power-ups and all that unfun stuff. No, this game is great, because all you're doing is going from left to right and back to the left, getting boxes of food for a rhinoceros. That's got to be the best game I've ever played. Except for Croc, Legend of the Gobos. And I will get around to doing a Let's Play of that once my computer works right. And yes, I do own a physical copy of it, and I'm not making this up this time. I'm not going to emulate it, though I hardly ever do. I mean, I never do. Oh no, the rhino is getting angry that we missed. So now the rhino is red-ish. And we have one strike against us. We get three strikes, and well, you'll see what happens. Alright, so let's just try to keep this rhino happy, despite all odds. Oh, look at Strong Bad. He doesn't even look like he has legs. He just looks like he's shuffling around like some type of horrifically deformed octopus. Alright, now we're getting trapped by a snake. Don't tread on them. And we just... Oh, we didn't make it. And now the rhino's gotten really cross. But these snakes are denying us access to food. Clearly marked food. Oh no! He's been trampled by the rhino, which leaves no ill effects on Strong Bad. Oh wait, he fell over and died. Well, that has been Rhino Feeder. Or Strong Bad's Rhino Feeder, to be more precise. Not, um, Bill Gates' Rhino Feeder. 
Not um, Jello, it's Rhino Feeder, but Strong Bad's Rhino Feeder! And we lost, but there isn't an end cutscene unless you have the Fun Machine 2 version, in which case you get a two hour cinematic of Strong Bad tackling the Rhino and eventually defeating him. So, um, stay tuned for more Let's Plays. Stay tuned, because if you don't, I'll cry again. <laughs> uh, okay, goodbye everyone.